Let's talk about some photo frames from Ali Home for your Polaroid and Instax photos. Let's get into it. You know the type of guy that was a jock in high school but ended up becoming a huge nerd? You know, someone that's not afraid to make a fool of themselves on the internet. And someone that likes to shoot Polaroid a little too much. Did I say huge nerd? You know, just an ordinary, everyday guy. Well, that's me. I'm just another Chris. So right out of the gate, I just want you to know, they sent me these <laughs> to check out. And I actually think they're fantastic. The name may ring a bell because I actually did a review on some of their other stuff last year. I wanna show you some more of the recent lineup of frames that they've got. They were so cool. So they sent me three frames. They sent me this floating frame for Instax mini photos, which honestly I think this might be my favorite one. <laughs> this is just so cool. We'll get into this in a second. Then they sent over this acrylic floating frame for Instax mini and Polaroid Go, but you can actually put in whatever you want. And we'll get into that in a minute. Then they sent over a third one, which is the same one is this one just a smaller version the quality of these things are superb i genuinely love these things they are really nice and they display your photos really well so let's start with this one i'm not a huge instax mini shooter but this frame makes me want to go out and shoot a couple of photos just to put it in there because it's cool this has two options for displaying you can literally just have it sitting on a desk somewhere or up on a shelf or it has mounting brackets on the back to hang on your wall but what makes this thing really cool is it holds three photos magnetically. They slap in place like so, and they just, they don't go anywhere. There's some strong magnets. It like makes your photos look like they're floating in mid air. It's just too cool. And the best part is they're super easy to swap the photos out because you just pull one out and the photo slides in. So if you want to swap these out for newer updated photos, you can do that with a breeze, which I love that ability to just swap out your photos in an instant. <laughs> See what I did there? Instant photography, instant photos, swap them instantly. Anyway, so let's move on to the floating frame. This thing's really cool. And I chose to put in Polaroid Go photos from a recent road trip I did down to San Francisco, went to uh, Policon. And uh, these are just some of the candid photos the group took while we were on the road. It kind of captures a little bit of everything that we did. Pretty fun. Um, but not only will it work with Polaroid Go, but it'll work with Insex Mini. And technically it will work with any other instant photos because it's wedged in by friction. There's two plates in here and you have your photos just kind of lined up inside and protected by the way. So really you can put any photo you want in here, but what makes it really cool is it's packed with a template. I didn't happen to just line these up perfectly. <laughs> you know, we've taken a long time to do that. What I've done is, is use the template that it came with which is just a piece of paper. Look at that, Polaroid Go. And then on the back, it has a template for Instax mini photos, which makes lining everything up a breeze. To do so, it's like super simple. You just pull out one of the acrylic insert pieces and then insert the template side that you want on the back side of it. And then you just lay your photos down on the acrylic. And then you put the front plate back on and then pull this out, bada bing, bada boom. You got yourself uh, perfectly lined up floating photo frame. Hey, I want to cut in really quick to let you know there is another way to get your photos in the frame and uh, I want to show you it really quick. You can put it on a table with a template down, then take one of the acrylic pieces, put it on top of the template, lay your photos out, then take the second acrylic piece, put it on top, sandwiching everything together and then inserting it in as one piece. It's a little bit better, but both ways are effective, but just do however you think it will be best for you, but I want to at least mention that in this video. It doesn't have any brackets on the back. I would have loved to have seen that, but you can put a couple nails in the wall and have it hung inside the lip, but choose your nails appropriately. You don't want this thing falling off the wall. Worth mentioning when you get this, this does have two insert pieces for the floating frame feature. They do come with a protective film on the front and on the back. So make sure to remove those before assembling everything because otherwise, gonna look a little foggy. That's just for shipping and keep things protected from getting scratched. You can hold 16 Polaroid Go photos and 12 Insex Mini photos. But you can display your photos however you want, any configuration, Insex Mini, Instax Wide, Polaroid Go, and regular size Polaroids will work just fine. Pro tip, tape down your photos. <laughs> Otherwise, 
they'll slide around a little bit while trying to put in the insert piece. But you can do that to give you an idea of what can be done to fit just fine. <laughs> but you're gonna wanna put maybe some double-sided tape on the back of the photos to keep them from sliding around while inserting that uh, front plate. Kind of like what that did. And over time, as it hangs on the wall, this might happen or they might shift down. So just use some adhesive. Double-sided tape is recommended. And then for the smaller frame, you can actually fit six insects mini photos and six Polaroid Go photos. Polaroid Go used to come with these little stickers uh, for the back. They don't do that anymore, but these work perfectly. I used them on this guy right here and uh, yeah, helped out drastically. There's not a lot of options out there for frames for instant photography. There's a handful for Instax mini mostly, but especially not square or wide uh, and definitely not for Polaroid. So this was awesome to hear and see that Elite Home is working on something for Polaroid photos and just instant photography in general. Makes me excited to see what else they might be cooking up in the future. I'm a huge fan of putting photos in albums and sharing them with friends, but as I've been shooting more and more instant photography, they just go into albums and they just sit there and they don't get seen. So I've been finding myself framing my stuff more and more, and these are a great option to do that. Oh, hey, what's up guys? You know what time it is. It is time to read some comments from the previous video except this time it's gonna be a little bit different. And that's because the previous video was on the Instax Mini 90 and then the one before that was also on the Instax Mini 90. I decided to go back a couple videos. So for this reading your comments section is gonna be on the video where I pitted Polaroid One Step Plus versus the SX70 versus the One Step 2 and kind of the Polaroid now as well. So the first comment comes from Party K Fidos 9532 I have a One Step Plus and it's a great camera, but I wonder if it's worth upgrading to the i2 or maybe a better buy as the old 680. Well, it's a great question. It's tough to answer as well because it depends on your budget because i2 is really, really expensive. The One Step Plus is a phenomenal camera. It has manual control and it doesn't cost that much. So if you already have one of those, I would just practice with it. It does take practice to shoot in manual mode, especially with instant film. <laughs> but I think I will do a video uh, comparing the One Step Plus versus the i2 camera. I think that'd be a pretty fun one. Thanks for the idea. Oh, and asking about the 680 option, but what I do recommend if people do want to get manual control stuff and you already happen to own an SX70 or a 680, send it to Dennis from Chromatic Parts, have him modify it because you can get manual controls out of those cameras now. HDKP1TG says, happy 400th video anniversary. I didn't even realize it was my 400th video. It's kind of wild, kind of crazy. I've been doing this a long time. Guy Incognito 6155 says, was SX70 modded for 600 film or just straight SX70 film? Great question. Um, that was modified. It's been converted by Dennis, uh, chromatic parts, uh, to shoot 600 film. I'm not really a big SX70 film shooter. And according to him, he has a source. Uh, SX70 film these days is just 600 film with the ND filter. Keep meaning to buy a pack, shoot it, and then cut one open to find out to verify. But apparently that is what it is these days. It's just 600 film. Teddy Summers 5779 says, could you do a video trying night slash long exposure pictures on the One Step Plus. Great, great question. And yes, um, I am playing that. I'm actually gonna be adding a free add-on to the Masterclass, uh, Master of the Art of Instant Photography on shooting at night. And that will include the One Step Plus. Sometime this year, it will come out. I'm not sure when I have to start creating that, but I do wanna make it a free add-on. So if you've already purchased the Masterclass, uh, you can just watch it and it will be included for free. If you haven't already, consider checking out the masterclass. What are you waiting for? Link is in the description. Kim Negevolzolden, man, I cannot, I'm terrible at reading names. That's a whole comedic section of this video. This is me trying to pronounce your guys' usernames. But they donated tw uh, 20 knock. I think that is Norwegian? I don't know. Either way, thank you so much. I really appreciate the donation. Uh, means a lot. Ghost of Lazlo says, just went from the now to the Instax wide and it is a world of difference. Yeah, going from Instax to Polaroid or Polaroid to Instax is crazy. Every time I pull out an Instax camera and shoot it, so nice to see that photo develop in seconds, uh, 10 shots per pack, che cheaper film. It just works every time, uh, except the cameras. That's the only thing. Cameras are lacking. I wish they were a little bit better. If you have a comment, question, concern, whatever you got, leave some comments down below. You may see it featured in the next video. And I'm really excited to get these hung up on the wall, displayed around my house, 
so people can actually see my photos. So what do you think? Are you picking some of these up? You can find links in the description below to grab yourself these frames and more. And if you wanna see the original video that I did on their frames, there'll be a link in the description as well. That's all I got for you in today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Now, get out there, make some more.